Okay, I'm going to start the uh, laminate plank. A vinyl plank. I'm using the super plank. It was uh, just over $4 a square foot. Real good stuff. I like the design on that. And thick. So it should give a nice uh, cushion. I'm going to lay, do some dry fitting and see how it looks. And then uh, eventually I'll be gluing it in. See how it goes. I think it's going to look quite good. Just going to do a dry fit, cut everything to fit, and then I'll glue it after. Seems to work well that way. Okay, starting to get the um, laminate plank down, or vinyl plank. What I'm doing here is dry fitting it first. So we get the cuts going. That way you can just remove them. And then uh, put them back in place after I put some glue down. So just measuring out, obviously, get the length where the corner is, and then we'll just cut it out, slide it right in. When you're dry fitting these planks, just got to make sure you got a nice tight fit. Otherwise, by the time you move up, you might be off a bit. But uh, yeah, so I'll get them all dry fitted, then I'll be able to put down some glue. And glue as I go and then I like to put a little piece of tape over to where the joints are until it dries nice and hard you should take at least overnight I think they say 24 hours before you walk on it yeah jigsaw can work good on this for cutting it worked good on this last cut it's just sometimes it gets awfully floppy and flops around on you but if you're careful it does a nice cut for you with the old jigsaw but you see the problem over here we're going to be having can you see what the problem is we got two lines lining up you don't really want to see that so since i have such a nice fit over there i'll just cut this one off about halfway fit another one in so it's staggered best to keep the line staggered you don't want to be uh, lining right up they just com can come apart easier and it doesn't look look quite as well so yeah so I'll have to shorten that one then we'll fit another one in
I like to use as the square, obviously, to keep things square, but it's a good way to have an edge to cut along. Just line it up on your mark, and then uh, cut away. Once you score it well, you can break her in half. And away we go. Then you just gotta clean up the cut a little bit. Just cleaner it is the better. Get a better fit. Although, you know, this is not a fancy house job, but I like to do the best job I can. So you get a good cut in. That should slide right in there. And then, ta la, she plunks in at the end here. Once we glue her all down and tuck it in as tight as we can, it'll look awesome. We almost got it all dry fitted. I just come up short, so I gotta go get another box. A box will be too much, but. Uh, Maybe I'll use it on the sides or something somewhere. But anyway, I gotta run because it's not open on Sunday. And I wanna get this all glued down on tomorrow. So off we go to town again. Okay, time to glue down that plank flooring. Went and got another box from Home Hardware, Grand Forks. I've been running a heater inside for about an hour now. So I'm sure it's nice and toasty. Oh yeah. Very nice. So dry fitted it. I'm gonna glue her down now. Bring it down to the last one. So I just move her into position. Where we need it at this end. And you might mark it on this side over here, the front, I guess you could say. Where it meets up with the other panel, or the other uh, plank. Mark it. Mark it on the back side. And then we cut it. Since we're on uh, the good stuff, I'll put a plate underneath for a panel so I don't want to cut it, right? And once again, you just give it a little snap, cut it off. But then, of course, you've got to reverse it so that you always put the cut on the outside if you can. Right? You can cover that with trim or something later. And voila! We got the perfect fit. Right up to where I wanted it, too. So that's great. Now I got a back pedal, take everything off, and start gluing it. So, get after that. And it's nice and warm in here now, now that the, now that the electric heater's been going. Okay, so clean all this out of the way. Then we'll start gluing from the rear, work my way up to the front. Okay, what I'm using for gluing down the um, vinyl plank, or vinyl final flooring, is Ultra Bond Eco 350. So what I've used before on flooring, and it is designed for vinyl flooring adhesive. What well, is vinyl flooring adhesive? And then I use um, it's a nice trowel with the you know the little edge put on it, uneven edge of course. I guess you could say teeth. That way, when you spread it, it doesn't go completely flat. 
leaves a little space and then when you put the paneling on or the flooring it will squish into it nicely and I always bring back two row, well, two rows one row that I'm not working on and then the ro row I'm going to be working on bring it back make sure there's no debris in the way you don't want it telegraphing through once again, I'm not building a piano, but I like to do the best job I can, right? Then you just spread on the old glue. You know, normally it says to uh, put it on, wait 15 minutes, like, just to let it get a little tacky. But I don't worry about that, because I'm just going uh, to leave it overnight. I'm not going to be walking on it or anything. And there we go that'll be it for the first panel doesn't have to be like I say hundred thousand percent coverage as long as you get it very close got the grooves and then uh, we'll get the first panel wing on so once you get the glue on whoa, whoa, whoa. you got to be careful I don't like to get all glued up. And then the one you took off, you just put it back in place. Easy peasy. And since the glue takes a bit to dry, you know, you got time to work it. Once again, the first row is very important because it'll dictate kind of how everything else plays out. So once we get her in place, happy with where it is, I like to, which I've heard people recommend, just put a piece of uh, painter's tape on the joint. Kind of holds it together until she dries nice. Once again, aim for 100%, I'll settle for 95%. Well, we'll carry on with that. It's a good time uh, when you're gluing to load up the cracks where the plywood is that'll definitely help uh, glue it all solid together even better but coming along well another 45 minutes I should have her and there we go we got her all in place all glued down got some good joints got very little left now this is about um, well five by ten so about 50 square feet and one of these jugs was just enough if you should know one US gallon 946 milliliter so we'll let that dry I'll leave the furnace I'm mean, furnace the heater going for till tonight anyway and then she should be great by tomorrow see you on the next video I'm gonna start uh, the wall panels probably just gonna take them off use them as templates get some more paneling or maybe even some tongue and groove we'll see and get the walls done and then work on the bed